In this past week, we have learned about many speeches from many people who share strength, conviction, independence, and eloquence. We've heard about the great Mahatma Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Martin Luther King Jr., and Helen Keller, and other significant names. But though they are big names around the world, none of them and none of their words have ever triggered me emotionally, emotionally to the point where tears would almost fall from my face. None of them made me inspired like one man, not known to many, and was a stranger to me until this past Saturday. At this time, will everyone bring out something to write with and write down this name? The name is Nick Vujicic. Last name is spelled V-U-J-I-C-I-C. -I -C. Now that you know his name, your hearts will be touched forever. I'm gonna tell you briefly who he is. The situations he overcame and some words that he spoke in his speech, I love life and I am happy. At this time, I'm gonna pass out a photo so you can visualize who inspired me in this past week. Nick Vujicic was born in 1982, an Australian, ridiculed, harassed, and shunned growing up by other kids. We all know how bad kids can be. The difference between him and other kids being heckled is that Nick Vujicic was born with no legs and no arms, preparing to live life without limbs. Imagine being born with a disability where you couldn't do anything for yourself. Imagine the insecurities one must face when he looks in the mirror every day. Imagine the embarrassment one must feel having to go to the restroom and have someone wipe you down. Nick experienced turmoil up until the age of 10. At age 10, he decided if one more person had something to say about my disability, I'm just gonna give up. Sure enough, he attempted to take his own life at age 10, at such a young age. He tried to drown himself in his bathtub. His plan failed. When he realized what he had done, he felt so guilty that it killed him inside, believing that God did not want him dead. From that day on, he looked at life in a whole new light and promised to serve God and inspire others, those who were helpless, those who needed courage, and those with disabilities. Now that you know a little bit about who he is, I will tell you what, in, um, what situations he overcame. He overcame many things especially the fear of never being self-reliant and being able to do anything for himself. That was stated in the Qatar Tribune article. Nick learned how to take care of himself thanks to modern technology and gadgets with limited help from others. He can swim, surf, and even play golf, many things that a lot of us can't even do. He learned how to climb the stairs, which is quite impressive for someone with no legs. In Corpus Christi Caller Times, Sharon Gallagher said that Vujicic overcame extreme odds and wrote a book that is more than just a story and an inspirational guide of hope for all to read. Now, he is an icon of hope all around the world in third world countries such as Korea, China, and Liberia. Those are just a few obstacles that he overcame. Now that you know who he is, some obstacles he overcame, I will tell you some words he spoke and why I am so inspired. I have been through many tough times in my life, as I'm sure many of you have as well. Times where I felt sorry for myself and wondered, why me? Well, you know what? Now I realize no matter how bad things get, no matter how many obstacles I go through in life, someone always has it worse. I can't imagine living life without limbs. In his speech, he spoke words like, I love living life and I am happy. For someone with no arms and legs and finding a reason to be happy, that's quite humbling for me. He asked the question, what do you do when you fall down? And it's natural for us to say to get up. He said, for me, it should be impossible to get up having no arms and no legs, but it's not. If I tried to get up and failed a hundred times, did I fail? I'm only failing if I stop trying to get up. Eventually, you will gain strength in whatever you do through life. Things will eventually look up if you continue to search for answers. 
In the McClatchy Tribune Business News, he mentioned that wherever Nick spoke and wherever he went, he left an impression that lasted a lifetime. An impression where everyone wanted just to be around him. With that said, I hope with this speech I left an impression. An impression which makes all of you want to know more and have the courage and have the strength in all that you do. I gave you a brief insight of who he is, the obstacles he overcame, and some inspirational words from his speech. Now I encourage all of you tonight to YouTube the name Nick Vujicic that I gave you earlier in the speech and be inspired as I was.